Hello everybody, World War Gamer, and I thought we'd do something a little bit different. This is, if you couldn't already guess, the Pokemon trading card game. An old game for the Game Boy Color. I played this game a lot when I was a kid, and uh, just thought I'd share it with everybody. And uh, what are we going to call ourselves? I don't know, let's just sit. It's the fact that we're going to call myself Red. Red is crazy about Pokemon and Pokemon card collecting. One day, Red had heard a rumor. The legendary Pokemon cards, the extremely rare and powerful cards, held by Pokemon Trading Card Games' greatest players. The Grandmasters are searching for one to inherit the legend. <coughs> Dreaming of inheriting the legendary Pokemon cards, Red visits the Pokemon card researcher, Dr. Mason. Indeed we do. Oh, why the rush, Red? What? You want to learn how to play the Pokemon trading card game? So you, too, <coughs> finally want to start playing the card game. Well, dueling is more fun than just collecting cards. First, you should try playing with a practice deck. Here, I'll give you this deck, and now you need an opponent. Hey, Sam, play with him for a while. Hey, it's Dr. Mason. Hello, Red. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, this first battle is very tutorial-heavy, so it may be kind of maybe a little bit boring, but for those of you who don't, who don't know the rules of the Pokemon trading card game, you may want to check it out anyway. Ask kind of the basics of the game. What do you want to ask about? Uh, nothing. I know how to play this game. Yes. <coughs> I actually used to actually play this game uh, as a kid. Not just the this uh, the game itself that I'm playing right now, but the actual card game. Long time ago. I don't have any of my cards anymore. Actually, no. I still have somewhere around here. I still have uh, an old ancient Mew card. The one that you could only get um, if you went to see the Pokemon in the first movie in theaters. They're pretty rare as far as I know. But uh, that's the only card they kept just out of nostalgia. This is just practice to not shuffle the deck. You throw about seven cards. Yeah, this is surpri surprisingly, this was a really good game. Um, I mean, it's. I mean, it's, uh, if you think about it, it's a. You're playing a card game in a video game that's based off of a card game that's based off of a video game. It's like Pokeception. Anyways, um, <coughs> so basic rules, obviously, you, just, you, pick, you pick basic Pokemon to place out uh, <coughs> on as your active Pokemon, then you can bench up to five or six others, I forget already. I think it's five. And, uh, <coughs> And this one, he tells you exactly what you're supposed to do, and you're not allowed to do any, anything your way. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Placing the prizes. <coughs> and we caught this coin. This, this battle always goes exactly the same every time you play it, so... A little bit slow and boring, but, uh, may as well make sure everyone knows how the game w works. <coughs> Yeah, this game, by the way, has a fantastic soundtrack, especially with the, uh, the, uh, in this game, gym leaders are called club leaders, and then, uh, the grand champion, they have some amazing, uh, themes. This music is pretty good, but, uh, nothing compared to what you'll hear later, which you'll see <coughs> in a bit. Yeah. It's kind of a slow start, but, uh, wait, what, they told me to, let's see, go, uh, place an energy on Goldeen, and just attack. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention, but... <clears throat> it's been a while since I played this game, though. If I remember correctly, uh... This game starts out actually pretty hard, just because of the fact that, uh... This game starts out pretty hard just because you have such a limited deck. Once you start getting, uh, booster packs from, by beating trainers and getting some good cards, then you can actually build a pretty powerful deck and it doesn't... it's not quite as difficult. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, Evolve Goldeen. Sometimes you use the speed up button on this thing. I guess I'm playing play on the emulator because I don't have any means of recording. Plus, I don't, I don't even, you know, you guys understand. Okay, Evolve the Sea King. Place another water energy. Hope that was right. And Waterfall. Yeah. Okay, so he I hit it wrong. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, that was psychic energy card. Right. See, we're all seeking. Play the psychic energy. Just really pay attention to the uh, tutorial to make it go. To make so it doesn't last as long. <coughs> Indeed, he took 30 damage and. Uh, Come on. I need to speed up the uh, text so I can not have to wait for it to scroll like that. I haven't had a chance to go into the options menu yet, though. Yay, water energy. Might as well attach to Star, or star You. <coughs> and just use Horn Attack to knock out the chop. I understand, Dr. Mason. You don't have to explain everything to me. This is the only real downside I can. This is the only major downside I can think to the game. The uh, tutorial is very slow and very. I mean, the first time you play is not that bad because they're teaching you the rules, but they force you to go through it every single time. You pick a prize, doesn't matter which one. For those of you who don't know who haven't been reading everything, uh, you win by every time you knock out a Pokemon, you draw a prize. If you draw all your prizes, then you win. The other way you can win is if your opponent um, decks out. Which basically means uh, they draw the last card in their deck, and on, on their turn they don't have any cards left to draw, and they'll lose. That usually doesn't happen unless the other person's using a lot of um, cards, like uh, Bill, which lets you draw two cards, or Professor Oak, which lets you draw seven after discarding your current hand. Anyway, usually that's not an issue because battles don't usually go on that long, but uh, in case there's a stalemate, you never know. I wasn't paying attention again. Hopefully this is what I'm supposed to do. Nope. Did wrong. Okay, it said drowsy, attach water energy. Okay. I did it right except for uh I just should put energy in drowsy instead of a uh, star you. <coughs> yeah, the AI yeah, isn't all that smart in this game. They'll make a lot of mistakes. He just keeps attaching energy to that Radigate. Oh yeah, you also can lose if uh, if your active Pokemon is knocked out and you have no one on the bench, then you lose. So that's three ways you can lose the game. Or th three victory conditions. And I don't think there are any others, but I could be wrong. <coughs> yes, we're gonna... Come on. Oh, I see. Are you? Obviously, if you want to ch check the details of a card, you can do that. <coughs> yes, it's all scripted, so on your next turn, you'll draw um, Star Me, so you're preparing it for when that happens. Yes. And this is a uh, obviously because it's this older game. This is first generation only for all the cards. <clears throat> actually, what's cool is that the, these cards, the, the pictures and the details of the cards are actually accurate. I used to actually have some of these cards. Guys, okay, so recover star you. Use potion on star you. Place another water energy and start you. And slap. <coughs> I'm just gonna draw again. And it's going slow. Even slower than I remembered it. I'll make I'll put this in it's a I'll put the whole tutorial section in its own separate video so that uh you guys don't you guys can skip it if you want to. I'll probably upload the first two parts on the same day, depending on how things go. Now we have Star Me. <coughs> Alright, attach enough energy to Star Freeze. Attack your opponent with Star Me, Star Freeze. Alright, so take Star Me. And finish the battle. Now that's important because he's dead. Actually, is he? No, he's still alive. 
just gonna take one more hit to take him down. And he's just paralyzed, so he can't. Yeah, but he can't do anything. Yeah, so the, game, the effects are pretty simple and uh, not all that flashy. This was Game Boy Color, remember? So, yep. Now we just have to uh, hit him with Star Freeze and take our last prize. Doesn't matter. Which hot was knocked out. And draw your other prize, which is a water energy. Decision? You won the duel with Sam. What a surprise. <coughs> yes, we know this is how the game is played. To understand something, talk to Sam. It might be helpful to practice again, too. This time was just practice, so I had you follow everything I said. There are other styles of play, so try them out by choosing normal duel. So yes, you can actually do that and have the same... Di you can actually go fight him again, but be able to choose whatever you want to do. So I hand his cards over, I'm going to add some of my own cards to yours. Now, Red, what kind of deck do you want? And I get to pick your starter deck. Charmander and Friends, Squirtle and Friends, Wilbur Star and Friends. And Squirtle is always my favorite starter in the first generation, so I'm going to pick the Squirtle and Friends deck. Whoops. Squirtle and Friends. Yes. So he'll give you a bunch of other cards, and <coughs> you have your first deck. You should duel with many different people. Why don't you go to one of the card clubs? There are many people playing in the clubs. Collect new cards and try building a new deck. Okay, so that's the tutorial. I'm going to end, end this video here. And I will see you in the next part.